Dun 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 dun. Hi, my name is George, and uh, I come here to present you the newest lava tube on the market. It's Young June's lava tube, version 2.1, commercialized in Europe by www.vaporhut.com from the UK. I got here one um, first batch lava tube, which has served me pretty well for 10 months so far. No problems whatsoever. And the new one. And uh, we're going to try and uh, more or less establish a comparison. Okay, so uh, we may start by how we connect this new lava tube. Instead of clicking just once, as so happens in the original lava tube, we have to use the five click protection as in the egos. So you see, one, two, three, four, five, and there it is. Okay, when you click once, you get on the right, do you see? As in a cell phone, how much battery is left instead of uh, being able to check the uh, voltage of the battery, as in the uh, original lava tube. That may, be a bit, that may be a bit confusing for people who are used to the original lava tube, first batch, whatever batch, but um, it's quite simple actually, and if you have a cell phone you know how it is anyway. Uh, it stops always at 3.5 um, volts, but you can always get the battery out of the device. And if you have another lava tube, you can place it here and you can go below, uh, you can go down to 3.1, whatever. So let's experiment then. Uh, this is, I don't know if I said, did I say it was commercialized in the UK by www.vaporhut.com? Yes. Okay, uh, we're gonna try and start experimenting with a standard bogey cardamizer at 2.5 um, or so ohms. And we may, for instance, fix the voltage at, say, um, 4.5 volts. So let's do it. Oh, no, 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 it's too high. Wait a minute. This is obviously in 0 0.1 volt clicks. So let's try it. We are Y4, this is the RY4 from Joytech, probably the uh, best balanced RY4 there is, in my humble opinion, of course. Perfect, perfect vapor. Perfect flavor, perfect e-liquid, perfect device. Almost forgot one thing. I usually, you know, have this kind of mania of using a um, an adapter, 510 to Ego adapter. So it has to be able to say both the connector and at the same time um, prevent any illiquid to enter the device. So it's a matter of sparing my device, actually. I'm gonna do another experiment now, which is using a low resistance cardamizer at approximately 2 ohms. It's a very simple mix, homemade, uh, it's just 
uh, PG plus um, Mint and uh, VG and uh, I mean uh, Nick at 12 milligrams in VG. So if it's an LR, let's drop it down to say 3.3 volts, which would suit it well, I think. Let's see then. Perfect. Perfect flavor, perfect vapor, perfect uh, temperature. It's quite good for an LR. It doesn't burn at all. Pretty good. Pretty good. Now for a new experiment. This is an Ego CC which you may already be aware of. It's commercialized by me at Amazing Vape, my own shop. But never mind that, we're speaking of Vaporhead now and of most especially of the lava tube. So let's get it there. It's kind of a new gen clearomizer, so it's, it has an ego connection success actually and uh, so let's shake it a little perhaps to like that okay let the liquid rise again and since it's this particular um, clearomizer this ego CC is as at 1.8 ohms let's get it at say 3.6 volts for instance and see how it works <clears throat> see if you click here you get the actual ohms the resistance which is sorry I didn't see it well 1.9 so it's 1.8 1.9 it's quite accurate really i'm gonna try it wow such vapor this is really great great vapor nice temperature um the flavor too it's really pretty good for a cardamizer and it leaks nothing it leaks nothing let's take it out no leakage at all it's amazing actually and uh, a new experiment is something that doesn't function never functioned well just as low resistance cardamizers or whatever never worked well with first batch uh, lava tubes neither did um, neither did um, double coils this is a cardo tank with a it's a DCT actually so it's a double coil at 2.5 ohms but it works at 1.5 uh, no matter what the thing is it's a DCT, right? So, um, no, no need really for the adapter. Well, there was no need for uh, the adapter ever anyway. But it's probably best this way. So, let's see how it works. 2.5 ohms. So, uh, let's try it at 5 volts, okay? Okay, 5 volts. Okay. 
Mm, it sells Toro Cigarillos Natural as well. Uh, Cigarillos Naturales, well, something like that in Spanish. And uh, it's perfect. Let's there a little and push it up to 5.5 volts. Excellent, excellent. Can't find it any better. So, uh, what you get from here is no leakage also. You know it already. Uh, the Go CC doesn't leak, works perfectly. LR. Then there's the LR with the mint taste. No problems. Then there's the DC, a DCT. No leakage. Uh, it works perfectly. Taste, vapor, temperature, everything. It's all there. So finally, we could perhaps try a little experiment. And uh, there's one thing. Um, when this device gets down to 3.5 volts, it, you know, disconnects itself. At 3.5 volts, it's like some protection for people who aren't used to VVs. So what you have to do is you open it up, take the battery out, place it inside your other lava tube if you have it, or anything else that works with the same kind of battery. And we'll experiment with the Joytex RY4 again. And see how it works. Connection. Well, it's connected already. Okay, it's at 4.5. Perfect. It works fine. Tastes good. Good vapor. Everything. Temperature. Everything's all right. Except for the airflow. Because after you go from here to here, you notice the actual difference in the airflow. This is quite natural, like you were breathing or something. This, afterwards, it's like uh, you're making an effort. So that's where you see the difference, really. And, uh, of course, that shows that there is an improvement. Not only that, you can use... Uh, double coils that you can use low resistance that you have uh, other advantages other specs that you didn't have here and you have them here plus it's really beautiful don't you think so I think so I think it's beautiful quite nice um, plus there's the vent hole here that that it's uh, it isn't a vent hole at all, and uh, you have a very large, very large vent hole here. It's really very large. So uh, if you're afraid of batteries, lithium batteries or something, no need to be afraid anymore because this is protected in every way. I uh, hope you liked. I hope you enjoyed my uh, review. This is not really extensive but I hope this uh, was enough to show you how even though this is great and I still think this is great this by Young June and commercialized in the United Kingdom by www.vaporhut.com is much much better way better in my humble opinion thank you very much for watching